decarbonisation is a pressing topic in many industries nowadays and many companies are investing to reduce their carbon footprint. With Seagreen, Siemens is now already going the next step by targeting emissions not on company level but on product level. With me today is Dr. Andreas Kind. He is the cluster lead for cybersecurity and blockchain and the technical head of Seagreen and joined by Dr. Gunter Beitinger, who is the Senior Vice President of Manufacturing, Head of Digital Factory and also the Head of the Internal Startup Department, PCF, with its product Seagreen. Welcome, gentlemen. Great you're here with me. Gunter, why does targeting emissions in general and especially on product level matter for the industry? Well, Christine, just look at the recent World Climate Conference in Glasgow, where world leaders met to define measures to meet our goal of 1.5 degree global warming. Decarbonization is the pressing topic, especially considering that we already have reached a total global warming of 1.1 degree already today. On a global scale, the industry is the third biggest carbon emission emitter after energy and transport. Therefore, we bear a massive responsibility for the future of our planet. So what is our role as Siemens? Yeah, we as Siemens, of course, we are committed to carbon neutrality of our own operations by 2030. For that to happen, we buy and produce renewable energy and leverage our broad Siemens portfolio to boost energy efficiency. But there is even more potential in scope three. And what is scope three, Gunther? Uh, sorry, scope one and two is that what you produce or purchase in your own operations. Scope three is the supply chain, that mm -hmm. what you purchase. Okay. So depending on the vertical integration of production, between 70 and 90 percent of carbon emissions occur in the supply chain in this scope three. So moving this big lever is a cross-company challenge and you need an actionable plan. And to execute this plan, you need data. Data from your suppliers on product level, as we already have published in, uh, in, uh, together with the World Economic Forum. So sharing carbon emission data on product level must be for us efficient, trustworthy and secure in all aspects. And this is exactly addressed all in our Seagreen solution. And by the way, uh, we are not the only ones. Uh, also, our customers increasingly ask about the carbon footprints of our products. Okay, that truly is a whole new level of transparency. And it surely increases complexity as well. Andreas, how does Seagreen help companies with their decarbonization goals? Yeah, so decarbonization surely does increase the demand for information transparency and communication across supply chain partners. As an industrial company, we experienced that firsthand. Luckily, this is an area where di digitalization can help, but it needs digital expertise and deep industrial experience to find a solution and make product carbon footprints actionable. Actionable means that the solution goes beyond today's approach of reading carbon emission values simply from uh, a local database, a so-called life cycle assessment database. Mm -hmm. Only when we work with actual data provided along the multi-tiered supply chain, we achieve the accuracy needed to make informed decisions on sourcing and design of a product. Seagreen allows exactly this. Seagreen calculates the real product carbon footprint. To our knowledge, there's no such system currently available on the market. Mm -hmm. I, I see a smile on your face, so I can tell you're really proud about um, that you guys found this solution. Super. Um, Gunther, how exactly does this evaluation of CO2 emissions along the product value chain work? Maybe you can give us an example. Um, yeah, uh, for better understanding, I like to use the terms horizontal and vertical approach. Just imagine a two-dimensional network. Mm -hmm. In our own factories, 
we see that we can quantify the emissions that are generated there in the shop floor rather accurately and easily by using our own soft and hardware products. Scope one and two, as mm -hmm. we had it before, product data are collected directly from the shop floor. For example, extracted via an edge device from our machines and production lines. Overheads like office heating, cooling, need to be allocated transparently. And these values are transferred to C-Green. That's the vertical approach. Now, to complete your specific product carbon footprint, you now need to aggregate and add the carbon emission backpacks of your suppliers to it. That's what I call the horizontal approach. With Seagreen, you are able to ask your tier one suppliers to provide their carbon footprint data for the respective part or module so that you are able to integrate it in your overall product carbon footprint or PCF. Now, they now quantify the emissions related to their product. So it starts again with, uh, it, uh, with them, also requesting data from their respective tier two suppliers and so on. And as each party aggregates the emissions of its own suppliers into a carbon footprint, strategic details um, like um, supplier structure, they, re they remain confidential. And this protection against a potential misuse is a crucial factor for the acceptance in the industry and of the approach in the supply chain at all. Well, it sounds like a straightforward approach, but there is a lot of information involved coming from very, very different parties. How do I really know that I can trust the received data, even if they come from tire four or five? That's absolutely right. All this data is worth nothing if it is not trustworthy and the quality is not right. Seagreen addresses both aspects with new innovation. The first one named Trustworthy Supply Chain Exchange, or in short TSX, and the other one is Carbon Quality Values, or short Q Values. So Trustworthy <coughs> Supply Chain Exchange is a method for exchange of certified product level information like CO2 emissions or any environmental, social or governance properties. TSX addresses requirements on transparency, confidentiality and data control, where sharing information across supply chain stakeholders. Q values are determined for each product carbon footprint and evaluate the received values according to their reliability, valid validity and the needed accuracy. This provides comparability of values from different parties. Furthermore, it allows an individual adjustment of the required data quality to the criticality of each component. Those non-critical components can be quantified efficiently, but comprehensively with approximate values. While for critical components, values confirmed by certifiers can be requested. Exactly, Andreas. Seagreen allows you to focus on the parts that really matters while covering all parts of a product with just the right level of detail. The flexibility that Andreas uh, described allows you to quantify each component of your bill of material, but without having to spend an unreasonable amount of time and effort on less critical components. Mm -hmm. In other presentations, blockchain was mentioned as the technology basis. Andreas, isn't it expensive or even climate unfriendly due to the high energy consumption? Yeah, very, very good question. So it's a, it's a yes and no, the answer. Um, we do take indeed advantage of decentralization and trust technologies for which blockchain stands. However, the way it is used with Seagreen differs significantly from other popular blockchain applications. No mining with high energy consumption, no integrated cryptocurrency. Certifiers play a key role in our TSX approach by anchoring trust in complex supply chains. A manufacturer of components and products is assumed to have a selected certifier that has knowledge of the manufacturer's production process and the carbon emission measurement method. The certifier can then issue product carbon footprint certificates in the form of what is called verifiable credentials to a manufacturer. The manufacturer 
can then present cryptographic PCF proof to a customer. The customer finally can use the public keys of the certifier to verify the correctness of the PCF proof. So in summary, Seagreen uses blockchain not to share PCF values, but to share the information that is needed to verify the PCF values. And by doing so, the confidentiality and supply chain management remains fully protected. Wow, that really is mind blowing. And you are solving something that's key for the success of industrial decarbonization. Truly technology with purpose. I'm looking forward to hearing more from you in the future, for sure. Gunther, one final question from your perspective. How would you summarize Seagreen and its value for industrial decarbonization? Well, um, what we are developing here is uh, essential and will hopefully be a game changer in many aspects. With Seagreen, uh, we are providing a solution to make the carbon emission footprint along the supply chain transparent, trustworthy, secure and efficient, which makes Seagreen as a key enabler for decarbonizing the industry. Seagreen has the potential to accelerate decarbonization by making each product carbon footprint actionable, because you can base your decisions on accurate and concrete data and not on averages. Mm, now, le now let me try to summarize our solution. Seagreen for you with uh, these words, if you, if you take decarbonization of your product carbon footprint seriously, Seagreen will get your PCF transparent and decarbonized the serious way. All right. This is a great solution, great for our customers and for us as well. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing more solutions from you guys because I see there is a lot potential with you and your solutions. Perfect. Thank you for being here. I'm wishing you further good luck and um, further good ideas um, for further developments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.